Uh, hi guys, just as Ryan said, I'm the chair of the UCLC uh, University and College Liaison Committee, and I'll just be uh, kind of promoting uh, what, what surveying is, uh, what the ALS is like, and, and how we try to reach out with communities. So, hope you enjoy my presentation. Uh, a little bit about the Social Note Ontario Land Surveyors, established uh, in the 1800s. We're a self governing organization. We have about 500 uh, professional Ontario land surveyors and about 180 uh, firms privately practicing cadastral surveys. Um, we're licensed in, and we govern under the Surveyors Act. Uh, we have a code of ethics that we adhere to. Uh, we do continuous professional development and we also protect and serve the public interest. Uh, we have uh, one license, which is our bread and butter, which is our cadastral license, uh, which is mainly deals with legal boundaries. We also have four certificate of registrations revolving around uh, geographic information management, ge ge geodesy, uh, photogrammetry, and hydrography. Uh, so a little bit about what the UCLC does is that uh, we have a plan of to develop partnerships with colleges and universities. Um, so we reach out to the universities such as York University. We also reach out to uh, uh, NSCC, which is the Nova Scotia College, in which we just uh, helped them plan a brand new uh, surveying program that's going to bring a lot of technicians. Uh, we also deal with databases in order, in order to see what are the trends like of how our efforts uh, to dealing with the community and uh, and how much how many articles are also coming in. We also like to deal with our annual career fairs, which I always like to participate in, uh, like in February, just as Ryan said. We also like to uh, attract internationally trained professionals. Uh, we don't just deal with uh, people uh, just just within uh, Ontario, but we also like to attract people to show that, hey, Ontario is a really growing community, uh, just as you saw with our previous presentations. We also want to start to bridge the gap between articling students and technical students because a lot of these uh, professionals will be working together with in, in the future. Uh, your OLSs will also start to uh, deal with like party chiefs and also assistant surveyors. And we can also just see this in, in our uh, graph in the bottom right corner is that the amount of articles that, that have been approved through our efforts of reaching out towards the community and supporting it has, has gone up immensely. Uh, so a lot of people don't know what it's like to be an Ontario land surveyor. So I'm going to give you just a bit of uh, how kind of people perceive it. You're definitely going to be a professional member of society. You're going to have competitive salaries and benefits just with like uh, nurses uh, and engineers. And your, your credentials will also be recognized in different provinces. So you don't have to necessarily stay in Ontario, but you can definitely branch out towards different areas and you'll, you'll be able to, uh, to carry on your license over there. You're also going to have community for life. Uh, the surveying and also just the GMS community is also just very small. Uh, every time I do go to the AOS AGM or I, or where, wherever I go to, um, essentially, I uh, like any community events, like I always see the same familiar faces. So it's really good to just like connect with everyone. Uh, and there's a huge high demand. Right now, currently, 60 OSs are in immediate need. Uh, 60 doesn't seem like a lot of number, but when you really take, take into perspective the amount of people that are graduating from civil engineering programs and GMS engineering programs, uh, th these kind of... Uh, these kind of positions won't be filled for another couple of years or so. And we're also going to need hundreds of more of technicians and technologists. And all of this is just mainly due to the COVID-19 recovery and the expansion of businesses within Ontario. Ontario is starting to really, really flourish. Uh, you're also going to start to be an influential in the landscape of society. Um, I've, it's actually like very true. I've personally, myself, have been working on like the LRTs. I've worked on uh, with like different uh, big uh, retailer boxes down to like little small businesses. So you definitely get to have a hand and say in, in what goes on. Um, also, uh, since the surveying industry is pretty small, you're also going to have the opportunity to be a business owner or even start your own business one day. Uh, you're also going to be dealing with a lot of history, you're dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of old, old plans, but also at the same time, you're going to be dealing with a lot of new technology, especially with things like LiDAR, uh, GPS, and UAVs. So there really are no boundaries to your uh, career in land surveyor. And if you really just want to find out more, we just started a new YouTube channel. Uh, please look at us at AOLS Tube. Uh, so you might be asking, hey, how do I become an OLS? Uh, well, you got to fulfill uh, some academic requirements. So if you graduate from York University, uh, lucky for you, you probably only have to finish like one or two courses right after you graduate. You're going to have to apply to uh, the AERC, which, and then you're going to get your uh, assessment for after you graduate. and. Uh, lucky for you, again, you're also going to, you won't have to deal with too many courses. You're going to have to article with an OLS for about two plus years. Uh, you're going to have to take your written and oral professional exams. And then at the end of it all, you're going to have to take an oath taking ceremony. Uh, if if you, none of this sticks with you, uh, search Google on becoming an OLS at AOLS. 
So uh, what are the demographics so far? So uh, like I said before, we have 525 OLS members. We have 90 articling students. Uh, but we definitely see that there's a, uh, a lot of our members are above the age of over 50. So that means there's, there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of the younger demographics to really start to get into the industry and, and start to really capitalize on uh, the capital of the industry, uh, especially with a lot of the new technology coming in. Uh, you're definitely going to see that a lot of uh, surveyors are also going to want to sell their, their businesses to you to, uh, to use potentially in the future. And there's also like no uh, there's no barriers for you to really enter in the industry. We're really a welcoming industry, and we also really invite people to see what it's like. So uh, obviously, people want to see, hey, you know, like how much am I going to get paid uh, as a professional land surveyor? So um, as an articling student, uh, you're going to get paid around around sixty to eighty thousand dollars. So there's a huge uh, variation in that. But then once you do get your license, you know, that's when the real money starts to come in. You start to make six figures. Um, and throughout the year, it's going to start to make, you know, somewhere between like $100,000. And then if you're a public uh, sector OLS, you make $115,000. Um, and then if you're an owner and partner, which a lot of people who do go into the industry will make from around 130k to 190k. So I don't know about you, that's kind of a pretty decent compensation, which is something that I like. I, I would be okay with. Uh, and also something that we also like to give towards the community is that we always also give grants to GMAC students. We always have um, we always have entrance awards, GPA awards, and awards for specific courses such as survey law. We also have award winners for people who want to become Ontario land surveyors. And also, if you want to do like your uh, GIS project, or if you have a geomatics um, graduates, we also have we sponsor a graduate student geomatics poster competition at the AGM. So if you're a graduate student, please uh, sign up for this. Uh, and then uh, we'll have our a list of panelists and judges to look over towards your uh, gradu graduate, uh, graduate geomatics poster at the AGM. Uh, my presentation is going to be pretty short. Uh, but if you were like ever interested and you want to volunteer and you want to reach out and really get towards more the, of the uh, surveying community, uh, visit us at ALS.org. Uh, look at us up on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, email, and you can even uh, personally email me if you have any questions about the surveying industry. Thanks. That's, that's all I have to share.